Welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for the month of July 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning messages that I'll be using and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom messages. Capricorns, I am so sorry that it's taken so long um, to get your uh, monthlies out. It's just been quite a hectic um, month. So Nevertheless, let's um, jump straight in and see what your overall crowning message is for the month of July, because I feel it's still going to apply. So let's do this oh, without even saying too much. And we have, wow, we have let go. Okay. Let's just put that there. And now let's just have a quick look at your crowning wisdom message that's coming in for you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your... Thank you. Wow. And we have positive change. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So Capricorns, um, we are going to take a deep dive now into your crowning messages okay so capricorn so your first card let go i feel as if um with this card surrounded with purple or that violet color i feel as though you're being guided um for the month of july around your third eye chakra i feel as though there's something that is being revealed to you um something that is going to unveil the the trueness of a situation i feel when it comes to relationships um any kind of relationships work love family i feel as though that there is um something that needs to be released you may be holding on too tight for a particular outcome that you want and i feel as though for the month of july um there is something that you're going to let go and it could be something unhealthy something that's not working for you something that is unfulfilling um and i feel as though as you let go for the month of july um you're going to welcome in something really really positive and something really new now, if this is re with regards to a relationship, you may have to let go an old way of thinking, okay, um, in order for Divine Spirit Universe to transform it into something that is going to be more healthier, more fulfilling. But it also could mean that it may be time to let go of that relationship in order for Divine Spirit Universe to bring in something new. For your main card, Capricorn, um, it's interesting because we have an hourglass here. I feel as if it's time, it's time to let go of whatever it is you're holding on to, all right? I feel as though, um, this is going to sound really weird, but I feel as though whoever you are connecting with or the situation that you're asking about, I feel as if um, you, how can I put this? It feels as if you had some sort of burden or or grief or heartache okay and it feels as if this person or the situation that you're asking about came into fruition to help you to heal your heart in order for you to grow and evolve around your heart space okay but now Again, this sounds really weird. Um, it may only be for a few of you, but what I'm picking up is that that person or that situation has fulfilled that purpose to perhaps help you wake up or heal a broken heart. And I feel now is the time for you to go forward, to welcome in something new, maybe to let go of an old way of thinking. If this is with regards to love, you know what it's like, uh, Capricorns. Um, you know, you could be dealing with something that really hurt you. Somebody pops up, you know, on your life journey, and all of a sudden you have that step 
um, that um, that spring in your step again. And then you look at that person as, oh my gosh, is this the person that I am supposed to be with? But actually their purpose was to help you to heal that heart in order for something else to come in. Or it could mean that um, Divine Spirit Universe is perhaps asking you to let go of that way of thinking. Maybe you're thinking too far into the future. Um, and maybe you're just supposed to have a really beautiful friendship with this person. But whatever it is, it is definitely time to let go. The card says ambition, realism and methodical steps. So I feel as though it is a time to be quite realistic in whatever the question is that you're asking about. And I feel as if you're being guided to allow um, a process to unfold. And that process, I feel what I'm picking up here is to let go of a, a way of thinking so that divine spirit universe can follow a process according to your free will to bring in something that is going to be more healthy and more fulfilling for you. And your crowning wisdom message, absolutely. Um, I don't feel that that is a coincidence. A positive change has come out for you. Again, with the violet purple, this is your third eye chakra opening. For some of you, it could be your crown chakra connecting with divine spirit universe. And it says, dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime, yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. So do you know what, uh, Capricorn, if this is with regards to um, work, uh, I feel as though there is something that you are going to take methodical steps to release a way of thinking. You may have planted the chain, um, the seeds of change in a really positive way, but your employers or a new business venture, it, they may not see the fruits of um, that return in, on investment until later on down the line. But it almost feels as if you need to kind of let it go. You've planted the seeds. Trust Divine Spirit Universe will grow, will grow those seeds um, and it will come back round again. OK, but it may it feels as if um, a business venture, a business opportunity or a work situation. It's like they're not ready. They're not ready yet for the change that you are proposing. OK, um, with regards to uh, love relationships, I feel as though um, this was something that you almost. How can I put this? Um, you took a chance with. All right. You took a chance with somebody. And I feel as if um it may have created change within them. Maybe your presence um, on their life journey and their presence on your life journey helped to heal both of you um, uh, around a broken heart, loss, bereavement, helping you both to open up to love again, to grow, um, to blossom, to feel that passion, to feel that love again. But guess what? It may not be the person that you're meant to be with, okay? So I feel as if you're being guided to almost have the realization that not everything is set in stone. So remember what I was saying at the beginning is that you may have encountered somebody that helped you through a period of darkness, of healing, of growth, and they've done they've done that and now it may be time to let go and move forward. But let's have a look and see um what your overall message is, because this could be something that's being transformed. Somebody could have rejected you after being in um, an encounter with you or a relationship with you. And maybe um, 
you know, throwing caution to the wind um, needed to change them in some way or needed to change you in some way. Um, and maybe you will come back together. Who knows? Let's have a look and see what your messages are. So um, Capricorn, if your crowning messages are resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push the video out to more Capricorns looking for a bit of a late July read reading okay um those of you that have not subscribed already please feel free to click that subscription button if you haven't done so already and um returning subscribers welcome welcome thank you so much for your support and donations i am truly truly grateful and i really do hope that you get a a meaningful and useful message out of this month's reading also capricorns you can now find me on tiktok and instagram so please feel free to join me on those platforms um i welcome your encouragement and support um there as well all right okay so capricorns let's get back to you now all right let's uh focus on this um interesting crowning message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love for the month of july 2021 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards capricorn that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right let's do this my eight oh okay wow straight away so we've got the knight of swords and we have the palace of swords in reverse my angels and spirit guides of the divine please thank you wow we have the palace of coins in the center of your reading my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of, thank you, we have the Hermit card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of July 2021? Thank you. And we have the uh, Nine of Coins. Further information, we have the Emperor. My angels and spirit guides of the Divine, please, can you give me more information? Thank you. We have the Eight of Wands. My eight, thank you. We have the three of wands. And two more, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please give, can you give me more? In, thank you. Wow. Okay. We've got the four of wands in reverse. My, and thank you. And we have the seven of cups. Okay. So Capricorn, I feel as though whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if um, there's obviously some sort of communication um, that's kind of gone array, all right? I feel as if this person is um, not communicating with you with the Knight of Swords, um, with their back towards your energy. Your energy is here on the right-hand side. I feel as if this person hasn't really... I feel as if they have received signs and visions um, signs, synchronicities, um, that is very, very protected with the Palace of Swords and it's to do with their communication um, and I feel as if they haven't cottoned on to it yet, all right? There may be some sort, of, this person could actually, you could be going through a bit of a silent period with them. I feel as if they're being guided to let that go, okay? There could be something I feel with regards to communication that kind of went out of balance, all right? Um, and I feel as if, I feel like you just need to let it go for a minute because they haven't woken up to communicating equally with you. But what's really interesting with the Palace of Coins right in the center of your reading, I feel as if both of you do want to 
build something that is quite solid, um, quite grounded, quite spiritual. Both of you, I feel, are very, very spiritual people. Um, I feel as if you do want to create something really beautiful, um, something that is just quite normal, you know, everyday, mundane, daily tasks, kind of you doing your thing, they're doing their thing, building, I feel, this really balanced environment, this balanced home, okay? Um, building and taking um, on mountains and obstacles, but doing it together. But this person, I feel as if either they said something to you that was quite cutting, um, and I feel as if they haven't really let go of that, or they may see that you, th there's been some sort of conversation that I feel as though has broken down this, this, this connection. Um, and I feel it's time that it needs to be let go. With on your side, I feel as if you are seeking guidance, okay? Um, you are wanting to make wise choices and I feel that this nine of coins is your energy, okay? Um, we've got um, Virgo coming up really strongly here. So you could have Virgo in your chart or whoever you're connecting with could have Virgo in their chart. But I feel as if you are coming across, whether you are male or female, as somebody that is quite comfortable with their environment, somebody that's kind of basically got their shit together, yeah? You don't really want for anything. I feel as if you are very, very beautiful, very, very handsome, very spiritual, very wise. You know, you make your decisions on your own. You don't really need to con with anybody else you you kind of just do you and I feel as if you are seeking wisdom seeking guidance with regards to this person who may have put you in a bit of silent you know you guys may not be speaking and I feel as though um, you may be guided to just let go of this person until they have this realisation that they need to communicate, okay, back and forth communication. With this emperor energy, I feel as if this person is very much controlling their conversation or any kind of communication with you. Communication is back and forth between the two of you. They do see it. So I feel as though on one hand, they could be giving you silent treatment, but they could also be breadcrumbing you a little bit. So if you reach out and say, hi, how are you? They will respond, but it won't be the same response as, let's say, prior to something that was said that they're turning their back on. They're controlling what they're speaking um, to you being yeah they're not they're not seeing the signs and synchronicities of the depth of this connection but i feel as if both of you are waiting i don't know what you're waiting for but you're both waiting to build this beautiful future with each other yeah. um but we all know we need communication some communication needs to be had here i feel as if this person is getting lots of messages from divine spirit universe but they're not seeing it and i feel as if those messages are very very protected so they could be getting dreams signs synchronicities but they are trying they're trying real hard to control what they say but yet they're waiting they're waiting for something don't know yet we'll see um but it is uh, what you both are on the same page about is building something really beautiful with each other. Uh, we've got Aries popping up here, Sagittarius and Aries again. Um, for you, I feel as if you may have seen this person as long-term commitment marriage material. And I feel as if you're not too sure about that now. You may have let them go, all right? Um, and I kind of feel as though uh, there was misunderstandings, miscommunication, uh, could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Um, but I feel as though there's been misunderstanding, miscommunication towards you. Um, so it feels as if there's been a conversation that's happened um, that just created uh, a bit of a separation, a bit of a silent period. Let's have a look and see what your clarifiers are saying, Capricorns. My, okay, thank you. Okay, so I feel as if this person, they are really holding back, speaking to you what it is they really feel, all right? They do want a new beginning, but I feel as though this new beginning is quite burdensome for them. Um, 
I feel as if they want to put down the burden of perhaps not speaking to you in 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 truth. Um, and I feel it's to do with how they're feeling or maybe speaking to you about something that was said that they kind of want to get off their chain of their of their chest. But they're not seeing how to do this. I feel as if their spirit team is coming in to say, look, you need to let go of this angst that you've got with Capricorn, because actually both of you want the same thing. You want to build something really, really positive here. All right. I feel as if you both did come into each other's um, life path to help heal a broken heart. Um both of you, actually, it feels as if both of you brought something to this connection that helped you to grow, to help you to evolve from, I feel very, very, very deep hurt when it comes to the heart. And I feel as if it is a, it's a positive change and the seeds of the true intention of what you both want has been planted, but it may be time now, Capricorn, to just let it go. It feels as if this person needs to let go this burden of some sort of conversation and certainly let go of controlling what it is they truly want to say to you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify the answer to thank you? Right, so this person I feel as though is um, waiting. They're waiting to see what's going to happen with this connection with you. I feel with this pentacle um, here between their feet, I feel as if they may be feeling as if they're losing you or they have lost you, but they do want a new beginning, all right? Um, but this full card their back is towards you so i'm not sure if they want a new beginning in a different direction maybe they are letting go of you and they just are trying to control saying to you capricorn i want to move on i, I want to to move on um hmm, let's let's continue Thank you. Well, that's interesting with the two of cups. So even though this person is avoiding a new beginning with you, they are really controlling what it is they are feeling towards you because they do see you as um, this two of cups, somebody that they want to give equally to this connection because they may see you as their twin flame or their ultimate soulmate that they do want to build something um solid with they know it's going to be grounded it's going to be balanced but they're waiting i feel as if they may be waiting to see what you're going to do or what you're going to say it's like they're ready to take a new beginning in a different direction but i feel as if they want to come towards you and speak their truth about how they feel but they're not seeing the signs and synchronicities of letting go a conversation um that either you had and it just went out of balance and therefore it's almost as if they are blocking themselves from, from having a new beginning with you because the seeds have been planted okay and we see this here with your crown and wisdom message you both dared to take a risk getting to know each other. I don't feel as if you're, you were actually, you didn't actually get to a situation where you were actually a couple, but you took a risk with each other because there was something um, that they saw within you that was like, this is a soulmate. This is my ultimate soulmate. But they're holding back how they truly feel. And I feel they're being guarded and um, guided to let go of that burden of, not speaking their truth to you because they're not seeing the signs and synchronicities and therefore this new beginning it's like they're trying it's like they're forcing to have a new beginning in a different direction but yet they still see you as this soulmate 
so i feel that communication it, you guys are in communication but it's it's like one word breadcrumbs not a lot that you can get wow and look at that not a lot that you can glean from it either one of you and with the lovers card coming up on your side you both feel the same way about each other these two cards right beside each other is very very powerful um capricorns they see you as their ultimate soulmate twin flame and so do you with the lovers card you could be dealing with a gemini or you could have gemini in your chart so remember what i was saying both of you are on the same page of wanting to build something really beautiful with each other but something to do with, do with communication went away and i feel as if divine spirit universe is guiding them to put down and let go that burden let go controlling what is it they really want to say to you thank you and we've got the king in reverse yeah you're not taking any action towards this person because you're being patient i feel as if you are trying to uh release and let go of this situation um because you don't know whether or not this is somebody that you are supposed to have long-term commitment um marriage with so you're being patient you may have already let go of this um connection and that is the positive change for you because it feels as if this person kind of needs to operate from a place of authenticity be real and take the steps towards you that needs to be taken to come into uh, fulfilling this beautiful um, environment that you want to build with each other. My angel, thank you. And we have, yeah, I feel as if this person is has a lot of love for you, whoever this person is, male or female, they're coming towards you with a cup of love. Uh, but yeah, they're not taking the action. They're not taking the action to clear out misunderstandings, miscommunication. But this person does love you, um, Capricorns, quite deeply, but it's unspoken. My angel, thank you. And your outcome, this person wants to build a future with you. Well, we see that there with the Palace of Coins. It almost looks at, look at that. It's almost like the same kind of card. Um, this person is... They, they, yeah they they see a future with you oh god you are their happiness you are their happiness through and through i feel as if this person oh they're really 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 trying not to communicate to you how they really feel for whatever reason they want to speak their truth but they're not taking action towards you to speak their truth i feel as if they're almost forcing a new beginning in a different direction all right but you bring them a lot of happiness they do want to build a future with you let's continue thank you and with strength in reverse i feel as if you're losing hope I feel as if with Leo coming out here, you could have Leo in your chart or they could have Leo in their chart. I feel as if um, you haven't got the strength and the courage um, to take any action with this person, even though you know that they are your, your ultimate soulmate. It's almost as if the work that's been put in, it's like you're just not sure now. But do you know something? You have, you, you've impacted this person in a real powerful way. But right now it feels as if you're a little bit stuck. You don't know what to do. And I feel that perhaps you're being guided to let that go. Let them go, I feel, for, for a hot minute. One more card for the outcome, please, for Capricorn. Okay, they've given us several. Okay, so I feel as if, yeah, you want this connection to be balanced out. You could be dealing with Libra and Taurus, or you could have Libra and Taurus in your chart. I feel as if you've, you, you feel as if you've put a lot of work into this connection. So whatever was said that almost had this kind of silent breadcrumbing kind of communication between the two of you, it's like you haven't got the strength and the courage to just deal with this, all right? 
you want balance. You want this person to put into this connection equally as what you have put in. I feel as if both of you can't stop thinking about each other and Divine Spirit Universe is basically saying it is time to um, reconcile. You both want to reconcile um, and I feel as if it's been very transformational for both of you, both of you being in each other's um, energy. Um, Capricorn, your sign is coming up here. So I feel as if you're being called to action. Maybe you're being called to let go of not trusting this connection because you've got a lot of doubt. You've got a lot of doubt. Is this person long-term commitment? You know, are they choosing you? Are they going to come in and clear up misunderstandings, miscommunication? I feel as if you're thinking about them. They're in your heart. They're in your mind. They they are very precious to you. But I feel that you have the key to unlock this connection even further. But you may need to let go of them for a while. And let go of your way of thinking because there is positive change around the corner. I feel that you do want um, reconciliation with this person. But it feels as if you haven't got the strength and the energy to put any more, any more nurturing, any more time and effort into it because you've done it already. And we can see there with the seven of pentacles, they can see that you've put the effort in. Let's clarify my angels and spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this person cut you out. And there's your energy with the Queen of Cups, whether you are male or female. This person has, has is breadcrumbing you at the moment. They are open to talk. So, for example, uh, Capricorn, if you had to reach out and say, hi, how are you? They will respond back, but they ain't going to give you any more than that. And they know it's because you've got a lot of love for them. Now, isn't it interesting because they've got a lot of you've got the King and Queen coming up here which is divine counterparts, they see that you've got a lot of love for them, okay? Um, you see that they've got a lot of love for you. And I feel both of you want to offer this love, but nobody's really... It, there's there's a bit of a, a standstill. Yeah, this... Oh, okay. This person, I feel, wants to come towards you with a solid offer. They may understand and realise that you're... Um, <laughs> your marriage material yeah they see that you have come at them i feel to be honest with you capricorn whether you are male or female you have come towards them with a lot of integrity a lot of love a lot of grace a lot of humbleness and it's because you have been you you've offered them this pentacle you've offered them a solid beginning to build this beautiful future that you want with each other. So they're open to love. I feel as if they want to speak their truth, but they're controlling what they're saying. That's what needs to be let go. They do want to come in with a solid offer because you make them happy. This is your energy, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Thank you. And look, see, look, the Knight of Wands, you're really unsure. It's like one day you'll have the strength and the courage to reach out to this person. And then the next day it will be like, oh, do you know what? I, 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 I can't, I just can't do it. And then look what comes out, the five of wands. Yeah, you're conflicted. I feel as if, yeah, you want to, you you wanted a solid commitment with this person. You wanted to build a future with this person. Now you're very, very, very unsure. They still want to build a future with you. That's really weird. It's like you're both uh, mirroring the opposite of each other. They want to build a future with you, but yet they're not speaking. They're not speaking it. I feel as if... You may have spoken how you felt very clearly coming in with an offer to this person with a lot of love. And it was because you wanted to build a future with this person. But because they're not giving to this connection, you're confused. That's why you're being a little bit inconsistent. Well, do I, don't I? What does this person want? 
You want reconciliation. You want change. You want this to um, transform. And I feel as if positive change is coming, but you may need to pull back, let go, let go a way of thinking of how you want this connection to unfold. And I feel almost give them some breathing space because they want to build a future with you, but they're not telling you. You already told them that you want to build a future with them, but you're now doubting that. Because you're confused about what they want. Do they want to give to this connection? Oh, that's a lot of cards. I feel as if you are manifesting, okay? You're manifesting this connection because you want reconciliation. You are thinking about it. You want communication. You want to put the work in with the eight of um, pentacles here. Or you feel as if you have put the work in. And with the seven of wands, I feel that you do want to fight with this connection. But you're also very, very protective. I'm just going to put these in a pile here. So you do want communication. I just feel as if you may want them to communicate with you first. There's nothing wrong with that. But that might be something that you're being guided to let go. Maybe you're being guided to let go doubt. Because there is a positive change upon you both. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please can you give me your in-depth thank you this person is stagnant yeah they're spiritually still and we, we saw that we did see that okay they're really reflecting on this connection i feel as if they do want to move out of choppy waters with you into calmer waters i feel as if they don't want to not be talking to you anymore could be dealing with aquarius or you could have aquarius in your chart i feel as if this person does want to heal um communication with you they may not know how to. I feel as if they're still reflecting, which goes back to what I was saying. I'm picking up that you may need to let go of this person for a little bit. It's almost as if this person has got stuff they need to sort through. And dare to be different. Maybe one of their traits is... Um, you know, maybe not speaking about their emotions and that's something that has hindered them. And by you, you know, sending an odd message here and there, it's almost preventing their growth to actually come forward and speak their truth. Yeah, look at that with the Knight of Coins. I feel as if you do want to rush in. You want to rush in and offer this solid um, offer to them. But your love is, yeah, look, with this Queen of Cups coming in, I feel as if you've taken away that love. So they see you as somebody that has got unconditional love for them. Um, and I feel for the month of July, you're, you're pulling back that love, that loving energy. I feel as if you want to take action to still keep in contact with them. You've got Aries popping up here. You've got Cancer popping up here. But you're going to be approaching this person, I feel, quite slow and steady. Because I feel that you also want to uh, come out of this lack of communication. Yet, secretly, I feel as if um, you're heartbroken. You're not telling them how heartbroken it is not communicating with them. Not being able to express love. So do you know something, Capricorn? This is the this is what I'm picking up. It feels as if you met somebody, all right, had an encounter with them. You both helped each other heal from a broken heart or loss or bereavement. It was something that you both kind of took a risk with, okay? You were both very different, I feel, okay? Um, maybe across the waters, different locations, but you both entertained each other. Then I feel as though, as though it got real, real. 
the realisa realis realisation of this connection kicked in. You may have said something that be made this connection become very, very real. You may have thought, right, OK, now that we are in chatting, we're getting on, you know, I feel really positive with this person. The next step is for us to come together come together as a couple and you may have expressed that in some way and then all of a sudden everything just went out of the water they stopped talking to you you stopped talking to them you both were breadcrumbing each other but the, what the irony is is that you both do want to build this future but maybe the way that you went about it capricorn you maybe have pushed them in a corner to speak their truth and they may not have been ready for it but that may be something that they it's time for them to do that it's time for them to speak their emotions because i feel as if this person is not accustomed to speaking how they feel you're heartbroken and you're not telling them that and i feel as if you pulling away your love is is not that you don't love them. I feel as if you're just keeping that a secret to yourself, but yet you're still having a bit of communication, trying to almost check in, see how they're doing. I feel as if this person needs to let go control of what it is they truly want to say to you. And I feel as if you're being guided to let go doubt because there is positive change going on with the two of you here. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify the in-depth outcome cards to the question? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, this person, I feel it as if they walked away. And as they walked away, reflecting on this situation, um, they felt that they needed to. But with the page of pentacles, I feel as if they want to have a serious conversation. So this person may have walked away after reflecting on what's happened between the two of you for the month of July. I feel that they do desperately want to come in and have a serious conversation, but they're trying to, they're controlling themselves. That's what they need to let go. Because there's something with that seven of um, the palace of swords that they're not seeing. I feel as if they will see it. You need to give them time. You need to give them time, I think, Capricorn. Let's just continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify the in-depth outcome cards to the question, how does the soulmates... Oh, thank you. Yeah, look, they're coming towards you. That nine of pentacles, we saw that here. This is your energy, whether you're male or female. I feel as if they want to move out of these choppy waters with you. They don't They don't like this breadcrumbing, this kind of silence that's going on. <sighs> you know, real basic conversation. Hi, how are you? Yeah, fine, that's it. Then you don't hear from them. You don't then respond. They want to have a serious conversation. I feel as if... Uh, they did walk away. They did cut you out. Whatever happened between the two of you in, um, what month are we in? July. So in June, this happened, this kicked off in June and they then cut you out. And I feel as if you pulled back your love. I feel as if they see you reflecting on the situation, on conversations. I feel as if, um, they feel that now look at that you've got the king of swords and the uh the queen of swords and the king of swords i feel as if they felt that you cut them out do you see what i mean you're both reflecting each other but the op is genuinely like two mirrors like mirror images of each other you're open to conversation. That's why I feel that you're going to go slow and steady towards them, still check in with them. But I feel as if you're going to protect your heart. I feel as if they saw you as cutting them out and going in a different direction. And you did, Capricorn. You took away that cup of love because your back is towards this person. That's why I feel as if they cut you out. <sighs> They feel as if you're reflecting on this, um, whatever happened, this conversation, the two of you happened way back in June. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I feel as if you, 
you don't feel as if you've really, really just, you're just totally doubting this connection. I feel as if, you know, if you send a message to them or reach out to them, you're just kind of like, why am I even bothering? That's that strength in reverse. You don't particularly want to celebrate this connection because you feel as if it's going nowhere. But you still have a lot of love for this person. You see, I feel you're being guided to let go of doubt. And I feel that this person is coming towards you with a solid offer. And I feel as though with the Seven of Swords, the secret that you're keeping about how hurt you were, about whatever happened between the two of you, um, I feel as if you, you may speak about it when they come towards you with a solid offer. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guide. Oh, look, they're just showing me the sun at the bottom of the deck. So I feel as if this will resolve itself. Let's continue and see, though. My ain't. Oh, OK. All right. OK, so that's a lot of cards. All right. So I don't know whether these were meant to come out like this, but I feel as if this person is that they've definitely felt that they have spent many, many lives with you. They're missing you. Do you remember when we saw the full card? Um, them with the full card in the opposite direction to you it's as if they are going in a new direction because they're trying not to miss you I feel as if they are losing patience with this connection you are no longer scared of losing them I feel as if you're no longer watching to see what's going to happen but I feel as if there's celebration coming in oh my god um, either both of you could be um, start coming into each other a bit lighthearted, maybe not taking the connection so seriously. And that, again, for both of you is letting go of um, what you you expected of this relationship. I feel individually they need to let go of not speaking their truth about how they feel. You need to let go of doubting this connection and you both need to let go of a way of thinking that you thought that this connection was going to pan out, okay? And I feel as if both of you do want to celebrate this connection, do want to be around each other, and you may have to bring some light lightheartedness. I feel as if quick communication between the two of you is going to be centred around building this um, long-term commitment uh, marriage, um, but it's going to be very lighthearted. So Capricorn, if you both have had serious conversations about where this connection is going, that is all that's all going to go out of the window. And I feel as if you're going to um, apply a bit more of a friendly, lighthearted, um, flirtatious, bit of a cheeky, chappy, cheeky, girly energy towards each other. But I mean, look at all of these reverse cards coming out here. It almost feels as though um, you're, you're both just, um, yeah, they're trying not to miss you. They've given up patient moving out of this choppy water with you. You're no longer scared to communicate with this person, but you're kind of doing it half-heartedly. Um, you are no longer watching to see what this person is going to do or say. Um, you may have even gone past uh, the situation of even trying to clear anything up. Thank you. Look at that. And as I say that with the Page of Swords, they're watching you. All right. They want to come in and I feel as if clear something up with you. But I feel as if um, with them trying to. Yeah, look at that with the Emperor. They're trying to control um missing you so it's like um they it's like they want to come towards you and clear something up but they're it's like their body is towards you but their head is turned the other way so remember the full card it's like this person is forcing themselves to go into another direction and there's where the emperor comes in they're really trying to control um any kind of communication with you trying to control the fact that they are missing you they're missing your energy again aries popping out here real strong i feel as if they are uh, they've lost patience to put work into this connection to move out of choppy waters with you my angels and spirit guides of the divine. 
please can you clarify the final outcome cards to the question how does the soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love this person i you know what's just caught my eye on the positive change here it says you when you are criticized remember that you will never please everyone um never please everyone many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood i feel as if this person may have criticized your your communication to them you may have been too open and too ex expressive of what you wanted mis being misunderstood and i feel as if they are may have operated from a place of kind of ego or um pride that is kind of like you know what um don't appreciate capricorn coming and kind of communicating how they feel and you know all that jazz um they may have felt that they wanted to be the person to speak about how things pan out or they may be wanting to have take allow things to unfold more naturally but capricorn for some reason you came in swooshed in and i feel as if you expressed quite a lot with the page of wands i feel as if this person does want to take action towards you all right swift action um this also could rep represent that you could have an unexpected um piece of news or um an unexpected message because i feel as if they they they've lost patience mm. but i feel as if they're coming towards you with a passionate uh, message and i feel as if that's linking in with that page of wands there as well um cheeky chappy cheeky girly i feel as though um you are look at that look at that the six of cups and the six of cups in reverse for both of you you are both trying to ignore that you're missing each other <laughs> Oh dear, you guys have lived many lives together though. And look, strength and courage. I feel as if you're using a lot of strength and courage um, to um, not let this person know that you're missing them. A lot of strength and courage to stop yourself from missing them. You see this person as marriage material, Taurus coming in real strong. You feel as if this person has been divinely guided into your life, but you're almost kind of like, you're not even focusing on that anymore. I feel as if you you genuinely wanted long-term commitment marriage with this person. The Hierophant and the Four of Wands, even though that's in reverse, um, have both come out together on your side. You may have approached this person uh, too quickly, Capricorn, um, to commit to you in some shape, form or another. Yeah, you've gone through major transformation. I feel as if you feel bound to this person. You feel as if you are supposed to be with them. But something may have been a bit toxic around you, watching them, spying on them. Constantly up in their business, I don't know, constantly communicating with them. That perhaps needed to be let go. But you've gone through major transformation with the devil card here. Could be dealing with, well, that's your energy Capricorn, but you could be dealing with another Capricorn. I feel as if you felt bound to this person in a real powerful way. Let me pull a couple more because it feels a bit like on a cliffhanger. My angels and spirit guides, please can you give me more information to the outcome for our beautiful, beautiful Capricorns in love for the month of July 2021. Whoopsie daisy. Okie dokie. So we have got the queen of uh, coins. I feel as if you are going to approach this person at some point. Okay, so this is going, so we've got four cards out. Okay, so I feel as if this person is going to see you coming towards them with a solid offer, which is not going to unbalance them anymore. I feel as if you are not going to miss them. You don't really want a new beginning. God, God, do you know something? Are you connected with the Sagittarius? Because Sagittarius kind of came out with some weird cards as well. You guys are definitely in different locations. 
I feel as if this person sees you. So if you have, so in June, Capricorn, if you guys had a bit of a tete-a-tete -tete and then you kind of just went silent on each other and this month in July, you started resurrecting um, because you want to reconcile with this person um, and you started communicating with them, they see you coming towards them with a solid offer. There's no doubt about that. They see you rushing in with that solid offer. Um, but I feel that you need to let it go. You need to let, a, you, I almost feel as if you need to ask yourself, what is your true intention? Because this person almost needs to kind of, I feel like they have to do things their way. They've had the emperor come out twice on their side. It's like they have to do things their way. I feel as if this person sees you coming towards them with a solid offer because you want to move out of these choppy waters. We saw that there with the six of swords. Um, and I feel as if they, you, you, you know, you want, to, they see you as wanting to move into calmer waters with them. And I feel that's not going to make them so unbalanced. Uh, um, so where they have lost patience as to what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, whatever you do, it's going to indicate to them that you do want to, yeah, put behind heartache. Yep. Um, put behind any kind of um, situation that um, unbalance this connection. And it's to do with communication. Something you both said to each other really pissed the other one off, basically. And I feel as if this person is then going to come towards you with this cup of love. So it almost is like you've got to make the first move, Capricorn. And then they will come towards you because then they'll know that you've kind of got over your angst with them. It's almost as if this person doesn't even want to hear about how upset you are, and how much you broke their heart, that they broke your heart. They just don't want to hear about it. They're almost kind of leaving you to heal. And then they'll come in with this cup of love. Yeah. To heal um, a tower moment. Because guess what? They may see that you aren't missing them. You aren't giving as much to this connection. Um, and to avoid a further tower moment, um, they're going to come in with you, towards you with this cup of love. Um, I feel as if you're just not even going to be too bothered, to be honest. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Ah, oh, yeah, the tower moment that happened between the two of you, you gave more to this connection than they did. That's what happened. And do you know something? You may have actually expressed it and it didn't go down too well. So they've gone quiet, not because they don't want to talk to you. It's because they can't deal with hurting you. That's why they feel as if they're waiting for you to come towards them. Because then they'll know that you are um, not so broken hearted. And with the Wheel of Fortune, do you know what? Even though you may not want a new beginning, I feel as if this Wheel of Fortune is coming in to change in your favour. There is a positive change in it. It's going to be in your favour, Capricorn. I'm so pleased. Okay, I feel as if this tower moment was what this person needed to wake up and see. Uh, we see with the Seven of Swords, um, sorry, the Palace of Swords, that they're not seeing their part in how this connection broke down. Um, I feel as if they're going to slowly, slowly see it. But by you communicating to them, maybe letting go any expectation, letting go doubt, which I said earlier before, it almost is that's what is going to bring this person back. Um, and I feel that the tower moment is because you gave more love to this connection. They didn't. And you want it, you want it equally, which we saw here with the six of coins. You guys have lived many, many lives together with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seb and the Star card right beside each other. You guys made an, a soul agreement, a soul contract to go through this experience in this lifetime. And it's gonna, it's gonna um, and it was to trigger growth. It was to trigger um, growth between the two of you. And I feel as if this Wheel of Fortune is going to be in your favour. And yeah, look at that, Justice. Can't even make that up, my God. The star, Wheel of Fortune and Justice, the two of you were probably married in past lives. In fact, I would possibly say they are with this over the Four of Wands um, in reverse. 
bearing in mind both of you had they had the two of cups you had the lovers card this is a very very deep soul connection um and i feel as if you were married to each other in past lives you both have a soul contract you've got libra popping up here i feel as though um you want justice you want balance okay if um if you're going to have a new beginning with this person this wheel of fortune yeah and look at that and then you're going to rush in and speak your truth you're going to rush in and speak your truth when this person comes towards you with a cup of love do you know something bottom line is uh capricorn this will sort itself out but it's not going to be done and dusted by july certainly not it almost feels as if you're both going to kind of go back and forth a little bit um a lot of inconsistencies but i feel as it is part of the learning it's part of the steps that you both agreed to take in this lifetime to grow to come together um but i definitely feel that this let go card is that this person needs to let go not speaking their truth about how they feel about you and you're being guided to let go any doubt that this person is somebody that is very significant in your life because they are all right let's have a look at your um advice my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice thank you and we've got trust in your in in your intuition more you do have inner sight so what you saw with this person the connection what you felt i feel as if it was true okay you were on the right track and you did to be different you did to approach this person and move things on to the next logical methodical steps because that was the realization that you guys have lived many many lives together you may have cottoned on that this person was a twin flame or is a twin flame your ultimate soulmate um, and you may have acted and spoken and interacted with this person in that way they weren't there yet i feel as if they're gonna get there but you need to let them go a little bit um it almost feels as if you're suffocating this relationship capricorn to the point where you can't be bothered now and that's that's the attitude that you need to let go because this is a significant connection further advice please thank you and we've got Every day is a new beginning, absolutely. So I feel as if you've just almost got to take it on the chin, um, live in the here and now, try not to think too much ahead. Every day is a new beginning. So you have the power to change this outcome with the way that you think. Know that you have put the work in, yes. Know that this person is catching up with you. Don't give up hope, don't give up doubt. Uh, let go of that release this relationship to divine spirit universe your higher self and allow them to transform it because i feel as if reconciliation is upon this union what are you waiting for the life you dreamed of awaits you <laughs> absolutely can't even make that up you know you need to honestly truly capricorn um just don't give up on this connection don't doubt it your initial um gut instinct with this person was so spot on and yes there were conversations that hurt you and hurt them um there's a silent period um but it's going to come together it's not all going to be smooth sailing but i suppose the one good thing that i can see is that you both do want to be around each other i feel you're a little bit inconsistent with that knight of wands like do i really want to get involved anymore but i feel as if you're not even going to be able to help yourself it feels as if the connection the two of you have got whether or not you both try to walk away from each other um you just couldn't and that's where i think this cheek, cheeky chappy cheeky girly energy is coming in for both of you it almost feels like a little bit of a restart to be honest with you a bit light-hearted hearted letting go of um an expectation of how this should have panned out um but yeah i, I feel as if the next uh weeks and months are going to be re really interesting um i hope i pick up this same energy for this crowd because it this is uh, this is just so resonant to a twin flame journey um so i feel as if you have met somebody very very significant on your life journey all right capricorns i'm going to leave that there for you if it does resonate please click that thumbs up button if um 
If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. Until next time, I'm sending you buckets and buckets of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.